Today we're going to take a look at my favorite new film that's been around for years. Wait, what? Luminar 100 from Pofo. So Luminar 100 is a new brand. It is fresh film, but it's not a brand new emulsion. It's actually emulsion that's been around for quite some time. Kodak Aero Color. And if that sounds familiar, that may be because there's already several flavors of Aero Color on the market like Santa Color 100 and Flick Film Electro 100, among others. So what sets Luminar 100 apart from all the other versions? You guessed it, the packaging and branding. The initial roll shipped without a box. Mine came in a box. It's currently not DX coded, although POFO does plan on including DX coding on future rolls. It is color aerial surveillance film, and you can develop it in standard C41 chemistry. That's the basic spec. So how does it look? Well, it's a nice, saturated, warm emulsion. I love the way the red and orange tones turned out, but a picture's worth a thousand words, so I'd rather just show you some examples. All the images you're about to see were shot in my Canon Rebel T2 and developed by McAllister Photo Works. Stick around after the images and I'll share one little quirk about Luminar 100. <laughs> I love the way those reds really pop with this film. It's a little bit like Ektar without the Ektar price. At the time I'm recording this, a 36 exposure roll cost $11.31 US. I got mine a couple months ago at a little bit under 11 bucks. More often than not, I developed my C41 film myself, but my C41 cams are getting pretty old and I didn't feel like mixing up a new batch just for this roll. So I took it to a local lab, McAllister Photo Works in Dublin, Ohio. The plan was to have them develop and scan the film, which they do for 11 bucks. Well, they developed it, and then I got a phone call, and this is the quirk. You see, when it came time to scan the film, 
it didn't have the barcodes that the lab usually relies on for their automated scanning. You can see the rebate area is pretty blank. Now McAllister did give me the option of manually scanning each frame individually at the cost of a dollar a frame. I politely declined and scanned it myself with my Epson V550. So if you want a lower cost alternative to other warm tone Kodak films, DX coding is not that important to you, and you're flexible with your scanning options, then this Luminar 100 from Pofo might just be worth a look. And if you want to catch future film review videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film!